In this session, we're going to look at Civil 3D's Google Earth integration. Now, normally Google Earth is used for quick access to aerial photography and surfaces. And while we do not have a direct connect with Google Earth, we do have another option. Uh, for example, this drawing is geo-referenced. Uh, since it is, I can easily turn on aerial photography. This is uh, Bing Maps, uh, is where this data comes from. I can also capture the area. Just by making a selection in the drawing, I can pull that image into the file. This image is saved with the drawing, so we can archive it uh, with our project. As I pan around, we can see the uh, quality of the image. At first, it's a little grainy. If I select the image edge, though, I can adjust the quality. I can come up to the ribbon, and we'll change the quality to very fine, and you can see the difference. Once again, this image will be saved with the file, so very easy to access. Uh, high quality color aerial photography. Next we'll talk about uh, surfaces. I'm going to start by creating a rectangle that defines my site and then I'm going to export this rectangle as a shapefile, just a common uh, GIS shapefile. We'll call it site boundary. Uh, going through the process here I'm, I'm uh, going to be selecting my geometry and and just creating a quick uh, SHP that defines the uh, extents of my site. When I'm finished, we can see that that object was exported. Now that it's been exported, I'm going to jump over to the InfraWorks 360 program. Here we've got a tool called Model Builder. Using Model Builder, I can select that shapefile boundary and use it to create a model. You can see it identified that location on the Earth. Let me give my model a name. I'm going to call it uh, Box Culvert Replacement. I will then choose my directory where I'd like to save this, and I'll choose Create Model. Now when this comes up, it'll say it'll take about, you know, five ten minutes to create the model depending on the size uh, I'm doing this in real time now I'm not doing any edits here just want to show you that it takes about 10 seconds to get the data once this data is extracted uh, I will have all of the surface information you can see the the model's been created let me just click the uh, the model icon and I can download that model to my local machine once again we're doing this in in real time I uh, just want to show you that this is a, a relatively quick process. Now we can we can see the estimated time remaining. It, you know, it's it took like 17 minutes there. You can see it goes a lot quicker than that. Um, so in just a couple seconds, we will have uh, our model on screen. This is the InfraWorks environment. This is where we can do our conceptual design and planning. As I orbit around, you can see the uh, surface model that I pulled from the uh, uh, Bing Maps as well as the aerial photography. Now that I have that uh, surface model, I can pull that into Civil 3D. So I'll just go to the Insert tab here. I'd like to insert an InfraWorks 360 model. We'll insert the model that we just downloaded, once again all real time. And when I select the model, next thing I want to do is, is just come down and refine the selection set. As a courtesy, InfraWorks downloaded some roadways for me. Um, I, I don't need all that information. I'm only interested in the surface in this case. So I'll click OK and open model and you can see I now have a Civil 3D surface uh, for you know preliminary use or conceptual use. Uh, now that it's in here I'm going to launch the object viewer. We can orbit this around and take a look at that surface in 3D. And when I'm finished reviewing the surface I can go ahead and close object viewer and then I'm going to hide the surface. In this case I'm just going to freeze the layer I'll just go to the Home tab, and in the Layers panel, we'll launch the Freeze command and, and hide that surface. Uh, one thing we can do, we can export to Google Earth. Just as an example here, I'm going to go over to the Toolbox. We have an Export KML tool. If I launch that, I can select either the entire drawing or components from my drawing. In this case, I selected the corridor. I can then uh, next through the wizard. Once the export is finished, it will open up in Google Earth. Uh, where I will see my Civil 3D information in the in the context of the Google Earth environment. So right there is my corridor. I can uh, pan this around. We can zoom in and take a closer look. As you can see, it's very easy to export our Civil 3D content into the Google Earth environment.